day, the plan was to record uh, the drums onto uh, analog tape. And we bought 20 rolls of two inch, 24 track tape, which is very, very expensive. The problem with recording onto analog tape from a drummer's point of view, because I probably had something like 18 or 20 mics live in the room, is that you, it's very hard to drop in and drop out of record. So you need to really play the whole song in one go without any mistakes. So we did an experiment on the first day. You know, how many times do you get a chance to be in one of the world's finest studios and do the most perfect A-B test? So we sent all of my drums to uh, the analog tape machine. Simultaneously, all the drums are also going through Apogee converters and onto the computer for hard disk recording. I played Blackest Eyes, and then all of us, we sat there and compared the two, the digital version versus the analog version. And all of us picked the digital version. There wasn't even a contest. It was so much better. That kind of mystique about Oh, analog tape, it's great, it's fantastic. That's to do with sort of nostalgia and what your memory of some albums that were recorded on analog tape that might be one of your favorite albums. But in an absolute A-B test in one of the world's best studios, we all unanimously said, digital is better. So that was quite a relief for me. And so the way I like to work is I like to do four whole takes from beginning to end that I'm happy with. And then I listen through all four takes and pick the one that's got the best vibe, the best groove, the best overall feeling. And then out of the other three, there might be one section or, you know, just the last third of the song, I kind of played it better on, you know, another take. And then you can do an edit on digital which is absolutely seamless. To do that on tape would have been a nightmare. So day one, we sent 19 reels of tape back to the shop to try to get a refund. <laughs>